Well, let me outline it. And it looks like it's made up of this area, call it area one, and this area, area two. So we want to calculate the moment of inertia of the beam's cross-sectional area about the x-axis. Where's the x-axis? Way down here. And then also about the y-axis. Let's just do it for the x-axis. Here's the answer for the x. And then for your homework or checking, you can do about the y. Okay. So if we do it about the x, two things. We're going to use the parallel axis theorem, and we're going to exploit it about the centroid of that area. So here's the centroid, and here's the centroid of these two areas, aren't they? You can put it, put it like that, like that. Okay. So I would organize, I'd say, what is my area? I'd say area one, area two. What is the magnitude of that area in units of centimeters squared? So for area one, wouldn't it be five times 25? 125? And then what about the other one? It'd be uh, 30 times 5, 150. So you can write in 125 or 150. And then what we want to do is we want to calculate IXC. What's that mean? What is the centroidal x-axis moment of inertia? So for this Area one, it's about the, it's this x-axis right here. It's shifted up. It goes through the centroid. Okay, well, what was the formula for a rectangle when it goes through the centroid? 112. The base, in this case, the base is 5 centimeters. And then the height is 25 centimeters cubed. This has centimeters to the fourth power. So 112 base height cubed. <clears throat> the ones that you need, yeah. yeah. Or you'll be asked to calculate them. Then you wouldn't be given the value in the table, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, not a very good 12th, is it? <laughs> Thank you. 1 12th, let me re rewrite that again. 1 12 base height cube. How about for the top one? 1 12 base. Okay, in this case, what is my dimension for the base? 30 centimeters, isn't it? And what is the height? 5 cubed. And then we're going to get the distance in the y to use the parallel axis theorem. The parallel axis theorem just says, I sub x is equal to I sub x centroidal plus this distance in the y squared times area. True? So the distance in the y for the first area from the axis of interest, which is at the bottom, what is that? It's equal to 25 over 2, 12.5. And then for this one, you've got to go all the way from this x-axis at the bottom all the way up. So it's 25 plus 5 over 2. And then you calculate I sub x. Again, this is the formula to calculate I sub x. You're going to use I sub x c, you'll use dy, and you'll use the area. So maybe I just leave it at that. And on the next page, I'll put numeric values down. And then when you sum those two values, you get around 140,000 units of this centimeters to the fourth. You can check, get the area correct. If you do the sum right here, that gives us the area. Here is the table worked out with the uh, I sub X around 140,000, rounded off. Here is the I sub Y, 11,500. 11,500, 140,000. And you can see the numeric values for the areas, X bar, Y bar, area, centroidal, 
IX and Troil IY. If you're interested, this is Excel formulas for it.